In this video, we will uh, study the principles of the work energy theorem and its applications. This is a very important theorem. Why? Because this is the uh, relationship between the work and energy. We try to connect it. Uh, if you remember our previous videos, uh, video 2 and video 3, talking about the uh, work done by gravity and work done by elastic, uh, we derive a relationship of energy, the work and energy. In, in the work done by gravity, is, is, it is a negative change in gravitational potential energy. So it is actually a relationship between work and energy. In video 3, we studied the work done by elastic and we found out that the work done by elastic force is a negative change in elastic potential energy. So again, we are, we are uh, relating the work with energy. But take note this one. This is the work energy theorem. So we, we will derive a formula in such that it connects the work done by the system. This should be work done by the system, not only by gravity or not only by by elastic. It should be the work done by the system. When the particle displays, then work done, and it should be related or connect it in terms of energy. So again, we will derive the work energy theorem and we will apply the theorem to everyday life situations. Okay. Again, recall the work done by a force. Again, this is the integral from initial to final position. It should be f dot dr. Now again, because that is cosine, so we come up with this. The integral f, f, f cosine theta p dr. And this is work done by work done on the system. So if our wish now is to calculate the work done on the system, unlike before, we are looking for the work done by gravity, and we are look uh, in video three we are calculating the work done by elastic. So this time we will calculate the work done on the system. So if it is on the system, so therefore this p now is zero. Why? Because our force is the same direction with displacement. So therefore, this should be zero. Remember that the displacement and the net force, because we are looking for the work done system, so the force should be the net force. And the net force is always the same direction with the displacement. So therefore, this should be zero. So substituting, substituting F here and in second law, it should be mass times the acceleration. This is second law of Newton. And the cosine of 0 is 1. Take note. There. So therefore, this will reduce to the integral of the mass. But what is what is A? A, remember, is the change in velocity per time interval. Or the infinitesimal change of velocity per time interval is the acceleration. So, M is M. A is dv over dt. This cosine of 0 is 1, so it eliminated. Or cancel so we have this dr okay now if we multiply this with dr over dr just uh okay this is by uh, rationalizing the db over dt change the mode of db dt do it this way multiply by dr over dr in mathematics nothing to worry because this is one we are multiplying one okay so we are multiplying. Nothing changes if we multiply dr with dr because, again, this is 1. What's the purpose of this? Now, if we change this one, interchange this dv and dr, okay, or d, dt, and, dt and dr, in mathematics, there is no problem. What, there is no such difference. If we place this dr, put it here, replace the db with dr, and dr should be replaced with d, uh, db, should be replaced in dr. So this is now the new positions. Nothing has changed. Again, if this is true, this is also true. But take note, this time, what is dr over dt? dr over dt means what? It is 
the velocity. The change in position per time is velocity. Now, this dr by dr can be cancelled out. So, this will be erased. This can be erased. Okay? So, therefore, uh, okay, then, what next? We are now leaving this value. So, we have mv dv. So, the, the remaining is the integral from v1. Okay, take out v1. We change the limit. Why? Because this is the infinitesimal velocity. So, this should be v1 to v2. Initial velocity and the final velocity, mv. Okay, so take note mass doesn't change and V, take note this will change depending on the limits, the velocity. So the integral of V, D, V, D square is V square over 2. Okay, apply the limit. So this should be upper minus lower. So it should have M V square over 2 minus V1 square over 2. Uh, remove the grouping symbol. We come up with result. The work done, take note, this is work done on the system. is equivalent to 1 half mv square, mv2 square minus 1 half mv1 square, okay? So, take note, because we distribute the mass. So, this is now the result. Look at again. 1 half and 1 half, the same mass and mass, the same v, and v, except the subscript. So, again, here comes the, the definition. Now, Take note, this is 1 half mv2 square minus 1 half mv1 square. So, this is the definition of kinetic energy. The definition of kinetic energy is 1 half mv square. So, again, the kinetic energy should always be a positive. Regardless of what direction, whether moving to south or north or any direction, your kinetic energy is always positive. Why? Because when you square it, mathematically, the result is always a positive. So what happens to this result? Work done by the same is can be reduced by keto or the final kinetic energy minus initial. Here comes the final minus initial again. So what is final initial? It should be change in kinetic energy. So, therefore, the work done by the system is just what? The change in kinetic energy. But change is equal to final kinetic energy minus initial. What is K? It is 1 half mv squared. Okay. So, this is the work energy theorem. The relationship of work done and the change in kinetic energy. They are equal. So, the work done by the system is just equal to the change in kinetic energy. Energy. This is a very, very important theorem. Including in our previous, the work done by gravity, work done by elastic, and this work done by work energy theorem, we combine this, the result is the contribution of energy. But for now, we will apply this. How to apply? How important is the work energy theorem? The answer is, we will go back again to the, the problem on video 2. The, if you remember, this is the same problem, but the question is different. Because in, in, in video 2, we calculate the work done by gravity. But this time, using the same inclined plane, the same mass, but the question is, if this object starts from rest, meaning initial velocity is zero, release it freely, it moves, slides down the plane with increasing velocity until maximum at the bottom. How much is the final velocity? You can apply this in everyday life. You can do it, do, do this in everyday life. The question is, how much is the velocity? Now, to answer this one, one method is to use the work energy theorem. Okay? So, let's do it. How much is the final velocity if it starts from rest? So, okay. Now, take note that the force on the block is only work done again. Why? Because we have frictionless. Now, if, if this is not a frictionless, then force should be upward. So, therefore, you have two forces. Okay? So, work done by uh, work energy theorem. It should be work that work energy theorem is work is equal to change in kinetic energy. And remember that another work done is F is cosine P. Okay? So, work done by cosine P. These are the two definitions of work. But this, by the way, this is work 
force should be at constant force. Now, remember, the only force here is weight. By the way, please do not confuse. This is small letter W, and this is the uppercase W. Uppercase means work done. Small W is weight. And this is mass times gravity. Okay, so let's do this first. Work done, work in the theorem. So, okay, the work means... If is cosine. This is work done by gravity. Okay. This is work done by gravity because we have only one force. If we have friction, this this work should be because this work by system. It should be work done by friction plus work done by gravity. Okay. And it is equal to the change in kinetic energy. So for now, we have only one force, and the force is the weight. It should be mg. Displacement is ten meters. The cosine p. Where is your cosine? Okay. Again. What is your angle? What is your angle P? So, again, initial velocity is zero. So, this should be zero. The initial kinetic energy should be zero. So, then, okay, what is kinetic energy definition? This is one half mv. Replacing K2 with one half mv to square. So, we have mg is cosine P, one half cosine V to square. Or one half m v to square the cosine of p. Now what is? By the way, you can cancel the. You can cancel the what mass. So therefore, we have now this square root of. Okay, solving for the final velocity, the final product. So this is two g is this is two g is cosine p, and we have this what? This is. Square means take square root. So we have b square square root of two g is cosine p. Now what is p? Look at this one. This is our Cartesian. Again, this is twenty. So therefore, this should be twenty. And this one is, it is a negative seventy. Remember, in our previous, we actually we solved this this work. In this is m g sine uh, is cosine theta. So therefore, change that to. Uh, negative 70 substitute the values then the answer is 8.19 meter per second square this is the velocity of the block at the bottom of the plane because at the top is zero it is increasing and increasing until it ends up with a magnitude of 8.19 meter per second square this is the final velocity okay now by the way uh, take note that if you have already the work done by gravity in this case because we have this is a frictionless, so therefore your work done is just equal to the kinetic energy final. And the kinetic energy final is mv to square. So therefore, wait, then this is the answer to the problem. Okay, you can apply, you can you can have uh, you can expand this one. Consider consider this as with friction. So, if mu is given, so if mu is given, means it is not a frictionless. So, what's the difference of the solution? Still, this is the formula. Okay, this is the formula. Now, this work done, this, in this case, take note, this is the work done of all forces along the, uh, on the object. What are the forces on the object? We have the weight, we have the friction, we have the normal. But the normal com contributes zero work done because this is perpendicular to displacement so meaning there are only two forces the work done by gravity and work done by friction so therefore you have to subtract this with work done by friction because work done by friction is a negative negative work done so therefore that's it then you can solve for the final velocity if this is not a frictionless if there's something that push the object down below with a constant force then add Push down means it is positive work done. So you have to add here. You have to accumulate. Consider all the forces on this. Then equate that to K to minus K1. Means final kinetic energy and initial. Then you are solving the problem using the work energy theorem. Okay. Now you can you can verify this using New Newton's so law. Remember in dynamics of motion using the second law. Constructing the free body diagram, okay, then solve the acceleration, then use the kinematics, 
prime initial towards the final, the b square minus final velocity square is equal to initial square minus plus 2 as. Take note, there is a final velocity. And you are already calculating the acceleration. We have a displacement. So you can always solve this, this final velocity. And you will arrive the same answer. It is very sure to come up, provided your solution is correct. So for your, I think, good practice, try this using the Newton's law. Compare the result and you will arrive the same. Another, another, uh, another exercise for you to answer is consider the reality. There is no such friction list. So meaning, you can consider friction. So therefore, nothing to worry. Just add the work done by friction here. Uh, calculating work done by friction is in the video number one. In our first video, the work done by, by work done by constant force. So we trained on how to compute the work done because it, this is in preparation for this topic. So please expand through calculating uh, calculating more problems. Then uh, again, the challenge is compare this with the Newton's law uh, methods. Then you will arrive the same answer. Okay.